cultural relativism the term cultural relativism is an idea that means that uh, you know the the culture is itself is a social construct so what does it mean that whatever the culture that i was brought up of course the way i brought up play a, a, a big role in my uh, world view right so what is right and what is wrong the so called virtues and principles and ethics right so my own culture can tremendously influence my world view that is what this relativism is all about and you cannot cross compare between the cultures so my culture versus your culture i cannot simply uh, being judgmental about your culture based on the yardsticks of my culture for example i was brought as a vegetarian but i cannot say that non vegetarians are inherently bad you know being judgmental about other culture is wrong so that is what this the term cultural relativism is all about right so there is a very famous concept called veil of ignorance so if i ask you give you a task of constructing a perfect society from scratch your task is to make a perfect society from nothingness you know tabula rasa is a philosophical concept that means from really nothing so you need to make a brand new human civilization how will you do that so to do that you need to wear a veil of ignorance so what kind of ignorance is that ignore the fact that how you were brought up don't let your own cultural uh, you know feelings and upbringing influence your way of thinking what is right and what is not so uh, john rawls designed this thought experiment and according to john rawls everybody will do something called original position if you wear this uh, veil of ignorance two principles are common across the cultures around the world so these two principles are one is liberty you know so everybody want to be free and fair and the fair you know justice right or equality so free and fair liberty and uh, equality are the original positions uh, you know if you wear this veil of ignorance so that is that is a, the nutshell of uh, this topic do search out in uh, you know my new book called life skills for in depth coverage of it right so there is a very famous uh, you know proverb when in rome do what romans do you know so whenever i go to a country i don't look for an indian restaurant i i eat what they eat right experience the uh, local culinary delights isn't it so yeah so relativism is that the cultural relativism is that there is a is like einstein's relativity principle right so you know don't cross compare it and don't use your own judgment like especially when it comes to moral and ethical values don't criticize other culture because that is not uh, you know that is considered to be a shameful act in my culture and what your culture is wrong don't don't be like that you know so of course we don't really have anything called uh, universal human rights so some uh, you know some acts you know what is coming to my mind is something called genital mutilation female genital mutilation is the mutilation of the female genit genitals in young girls you know so some cultures practices especially in, in in africa it's considered to be very bad it's a cruel thing right if 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 i consider as an indian or the africans are doing female genital mutilation many people are criticizing they are writing blog post they are they are, you know you can see a large number of videos criticizing fgm how about male genetic mutilations also known as circumcisions many cultures practice it and do you know this genetic mutilation in is inherently bad can un make this kind of statement no they can never do that the reason is that circumcision is part of religion in many of the abrahamic religions of the world and if you do that if you think that all kinds of genetic you know uh, uh, yes yeah, so the genital not genetic i'm sorry genital right so all types of genital mutilations are bad if you say that then you know it it comes to the belief right people who are practicing this male or female genital mutilations 
they think that okay you are criticizing our own core belief that will lead to something called cognitive dissonance and semmelweis reflex what is this semmelweis reflex is it's like as a reflex action they violently protest when you when you criticize the core belief or the cultural baggage you know so that is why a universal statement of the human rights itself is not possible or take some other example like polygamy polygamy is acceptable in many cultures around the world while many others it is not acceptable at all you know so that is the the uh, you know in a nutshell the topic of cultural relativism is all about right so don't use your own yardsticks to make sweeping generalization about somebody else's culture you should only look their culture in lights of their own principles and their own values and virtues what is regarded to be good and what is bad in their culture you see so and cultural relativism is very very important in the communication especially intercultural communication do check out my book life skills for in depth coverage thank you